What's going on guys? My name's Cole and welcome to the first Operator Explained video. This will be a series where we break down an operator's weapons, equipment, and gadgets to help you better understand how to play Rainbow Six Siege. Today, as you've seen, we are breaking down Jaeger, aka Marius Streicher. Jaeger is a part of the GSG-9 CTU. He's a two-speed, two-armor operator with a solid weapon choice and gadget. This will allow you to either anchor on sight or roam. The choice is up to you. To be effective as Jaeger, you must be sure to put your ADS devices in common entry points or near reinforced walls where protection from nades or other projectiles will be needed. Jaeger's primary weapon choices are the 416C carbine and the M870 shotgun. We are going to be looking at the 416 as it is the clear choice unless you are looking to meme on people. The 416C has three sight choices, five muzzle attachments with a grip and an optional laser attachment. The three sight choices are all personal preference, however, the hollow and reflex sights are used more often than not. For barrel attachments, I went through and tested each one in a custom match. The flash hider appeared to come out on top, however, I'll note that the flash hider, muzzle brake, and compensator all had fairly close recoil patterns, so play around with each one and decide for yourself. The silencer isn't a bad choice either. If you want to go full stealth, just know that there is a damage drop off of 6 HP with the silencer attached. The long barrel attachment allows increased damage at range, however the trade off in recoil stability will cause less accuracy, therefore I suggest going with any of the other barrel attachments. The 416C has a vertical grip available to it, it's the only choice and I suggest putting it on. The laser attachment is also available and the choice to attach it is very personal preference. I know plenty of people who use it, and plenty that don't. Either way you go, you can't go wrong. Be sure to note that if you do decide to attach the laser, the beam can be seen on doors and walls, possibly telegraphing your location. For equipment, Jaeger has a bulletproof cam and barbed wire. Each piece of equipment is subject to personal preference and circumstance. I suggest going with barbed wire as it provides a sound cue when destroyed, and provides both a sound cue and slowing effect if the enemy team decides to try and walk through it. Though if you want more visual intel, then the bulletproof cam is right up your alley. Finally, we move to Jaeger's gadget, the Active Defense System, or ADS. The ADS can be placed on floors, walls, and other surfaces. Jaeger is equipped with three of these devices that block two applicable throwables or projectiles. The following are items that can be destroyed if thrown or shot into the ADS's field of view. Frags, flash, and smoke grenades, Thatcher EMPs, Ash breaching rounds, Sophia lifeline grenades, Nomad air jabs, Ying candelas, fuse cluster charges, and Cal Lee's explosive lance. Though Jaeger's ADS devices don't block everything, such as Capital's crossbow bolts and Gridlock's track stingers. ADS placement is key, so be sure to play around and find the best spots. If you guys are interested in spots I use, I might do a video on that someday. At first, just focus on keeping the devices out of the enemy's direct line of sight you'll slowly develop your own spots. As a recap, Jaeger is a 2-speed, two 2-armor two op with a flexible playstyle. I'd recommend using the 416C with hollow, vertical grip, and flash hider. I hope you've come away from this video with more insight into Jaeger. If you've enjoyed the video, please smack the like button, click subscribe, and tell me what ops you'd like to see down in the comments section below. Till then, my name's Colt, and I'll see you all in the next video. Later!